against imperialists. We know that our triumph um, inspired many an African nation. So we have this shared past. And when we look at um, our country and our um, continent, we saw um, a, a period of of um, lack of progress between Turkey and Africa. But even then, Turkey was committed to supporting Africa and African peoples. Turkey never turned its back um, against Africa, especially with Northern African uh, countries. Uh, we were um, in good relations. And despite the difficult conditions, um, we supported the um, independence movements in Northern Africa. and. The year 2005 was announced as the African year in Turkey and as such we started to uh, turn a new leaf in terms of our relations with the continent. On the one side, with our African brothers and sisters, we embraced one another and on the other, we were able to um, make sure that our cooperation was founded on equal partnership and on a principle of win-win. Now, we never took a proud stance, we never uh, took an orientalist uh, stance um, against the continent. We always rejected such, um, such um, stances and we expedited our cooperation thanks to our initiative and in year 2008 we became a strategic partner of the African Union and as such we made um, a very important um, step and decision and we um, organized two summits uh, to focus on the cooperation between Turkey and Africa and as such we were able to demonstrate our commitment and thankfully thankfully, uh, thanks to the shared work that we um, were engaged in, we were able to improve significantly the relations between Turkey and Africa, an accomplishment that could not have been imagined 16 years ago. Now, allow me to share some figures with you to demonstrate the um, accomplishment that we have achieved together. Now, $5.4 billion was the trade volume we had with the continent in 2020. Um, this is $25.3 billion, actually surpassed that amount. And in the first 11 months of this year, our trade um, stands at uh, 30 billion US dollars. And as for our investments across the continent, uh, the total amount uh, stands at uh, 6 billion US dollars. Turkish companies currently employ 25,000 African brothers and sisters throughout the continent. Our uh, contracting companies all throughout Africa have engaged in 78 billion um, dollars worth of uh, 1600 uh, projects that have been completed or are being completed and our brothers and sisters of African origin also continue to invest in Turkey. Now, um, these initiatives perhaps started with um, small scale uh, trade but right now um, they have become companies that contribute to Turkey's exports. Now, the African diaspora in Turkey have um, initiated these investments and we do our best to support them. And on the other hand, on the 1st of January 2021, the African Continental Free Trade Zone Agreement um, was established and we keep a close eye on, on this development as well. And we are hoping to uh, first of all, reached $50 billion in terms of bilateral trade and then $75 billion. I believe that we will um, deliver on this uh, commitment. In the last 16 years only, we have made great strides. And when we look at the progress that we have achieved, we see that the real potential between Turkey and Africa actually surpassed us um, in leaps and bounds. Um, dear participants, with investments, in addition to investments, uh, we have made progress in other areas of cooperation. In 2005, 12 was the number of um, embassies that we had in the continent. Now this has increased to um, 42. And at that time, in Ankara, only 10 nations had um, an embassy. But now this number um, totals 37.
Now, our largest uh, diplomatic um, um, representation was opened in um, Somalia, and as the international community turned a blind eye in Somalia in 2011, actually, um, myself and my spouse, we visited the country um, and we did our best to um, draw attention to the humanitarian crisis unfolding um, in the country at the time. And that visit was actually um, a visit to um, support um, the welfare of not just Somalia, uh, um, but the entire um, Eastern Africa. It changed the destiny of the um, region. And uh, we saw all together that when um, support is there, um, nations can rebuild themselves from scratch and rise from their ashes. We also exhibited solidarity uh, with the continent when pandemics um, hit such as Ebola, and we exhibited the same stance in other humanitarian crises as well. In addition to our diplomatic missions, TIKA um, and Yunus Emre Institute and Turkish Educational Foundation, Anadolu Agency, Turkish Airlines and Turkish Red Crescent also um, compounded our presence uh, throughout the continent. And we have always shunned uh, colonial habits, uh, but sadly we see that some quarters are uh, trying to maintain those habits, but uh, we are different. We are in this to uh, grow together and to um, walk into the future together in an, in, in an uh, equal, uh, equal manner. In this process, especially women, young people and children um, are our um, target audiences. We attach great importance to uh, reaching out to these segments of the population and many African students are benefiting from Turkish uh, scholarships more than 14,000 uh, students are studying in Turkey and when we visit African countries we meet um, young people who um, graduated from Turkish schools and we are proud of their um, accomplishments our flag bearer Turkish Airlines uh, connects the continent to the world and it has become one of the leading international airline companies to do that. Of course, the COVID-19 pandemic um, had some negative implications, but once we get over this uh, pandemic, hopefully we will uh, further increase the number of flights between um, Turkey and Africa. In Somalia, Recep Tayyip Erdogan Teaching and Research Hospital in Sudan, um, Turkey um, Teaching and Research Hospital, and in Niger, um, Niger, um, Turkey um, Friendship Hospital uh, serve our um, African brothers and sisters and offer uh, treatments uh, to their uh, illnesses. Now, 5.5 million people around the world lost their lives because of the co coronavirus uh, pandemic. And at this difficult time, obviously, we did not leave our African brothers and sisters alone. Now, developed countries uh, locked themselves um, in into their own worlds, but we extended medical aid uh, to many nations around the world. And as such, we ranked the second in the world. 44 African nations um, received and 160 countries in total and 12 international um, organizations benefited from the aid that we extended and in terms of access to COVID-19 vaccination we observed um, the fact that there was an international injustice and we are aware of the injustice that is still unfolding in front of our eyes when it comes to Africa only 6% of the African um, population received a COVID-19 vaccine and this is a disgrace um, in terms of uh, humanity at large and in order to address this problem and solve this problem in line with our um, resources um, in the next uh, couple of months uh, we have, will be sharing 15 million uh, doses of vaccines our national vaccine Turcovac um, the emergency um, license uh, was actually uh, the application for the emergency license was made and once the process 
is completed, our Turkish uh, vaccine uh, will be uh, will be presented uh, to the uh, convenience of um, our nation as well as nations around the world. Now, um, dear participants, I visited Africa for the first time uh, a year after I became um, the prime minister um, in 2004. And as a prime minister, as a president, I have visited the continent. Um, um, well, I have visited uh, 30 countries and I have had 50 visits in total. And mainly, uh, ma many of these visits were a first in the history of our republic. And similarly, we received um, heads of state and presidents and prime ministers uh, from many African nations uh, in Turkey. Almost every year, um, I made sure that um, I um, added a couple of African visits in my annual agenda. My, I still um, try to do that. And every time I go to Africa, actually, I... I'm still excited and thrilled every time I visit uh, the continent because every time I go to Africa I see that despite all the difficulties uh, people are working hard and people are hopeful about their future. I, I see faithful people who um, uh, are, um, who persevere despite everything and who never despair um, and I see uh, women who work hard and I see um, people um, walking barefoot at dawn um, and I, I, I see African uh, children uh, with uh, shining eyes and I have seen elderly people uh, who are endowed with the wisdom of Africa of thousands of years and I have seen uh, wise men and women and I have seen people who work day and night tirelessly for the welfare of their nation. I have seen uh, politicians um, who work hard. I, I, I have seen states people who have dedicated their lives uh, to their people and I have seen uh, people who believe uh, that uh, tomorrow will be better than today. I have seen young people who dream a brighter um, future um, for their countries. I have seen people enriched uh, by um, a rich history. I have seen artists and writers and uh, poets who uh, convey messages of wisdom um, um, to uh, the world at large. And I have seen um, people who share uh, the little they have with others. I have seen people who have known scarcity, who have known um, heartbreak and catastrophe, uh, but um, people um, still um, cling to hope. And I have also seen compassion, uh, courage, and altruism, and uh, fraternity, and um, benevolence, and sharing, a spirit of sharing in Africa. And the hard work of our African uh, brothers and sisters, their struggle and their determination um, have always uh, inspired me and always uh, evoked uh, respect in me. Dear um, friends, um, the latest Madiba of Africa is Mandela. Once you overcome a hill, what you will find, he said, um, in many more uh, horizons to be conquered, many more hilltops to be reached. And we believe that um, we are on a journey when it comes to improving our relations from economy to healthcare, from um, from um, economy to investments. Uh, we have overcome many a hurdle. And I believe that uh, we have accomplished great uh, success, but we should never get complacent and uh, we, we should never make do with what we, what we have uh, right now. We should feel strengthened by our history and we should always strive um, for better. We should always strive to uh, raise the bar even further. Of course, compared to 16 years ago, the African Union, with the African Union, with continental countries, we have, uh, we have um, such better ties. And uh, when we compare the figures between 2004 and today, we realize uh, what a great progress we have made in the last um, 16 years. But uh, like I said, we can do more. We can accomplish more. We can actually... Um, 
achieve uh, even more glorious glorious uh, goals. Uh, we should not uh, settle with hills. We should uh, set our sights on um, big summits such as Kilimanjaro. The world is greater than large. That is our motto. And this struggle that we are engaged in is not just for ourselves, but for our African brothers and sisters as well. And in the last couple of years, uh, we have uh, experienced a lot. And um, we know that um, the destiny of the world cannot be left to uh, five countries in the Security Council of the UN. 1.3 billion people live in the continent of Africa and this continent is not represented at the uh, Security Council and that is a huge, a flagrant injustice. No. Africa should uh, rightfully be represented in the Security Council and for that to happen I believe that we need to join our forces. Um, the status quo is good, um, is beneficial for some quarters and they may not like what we are trying to achieve but for the future of our sons and daughters we have got to be engaged in this battle, in this struggle and today we are here at the third uh, summit and this summit is a testament um, to the fact that Turkey is um, interested in Africa and Turkey's interest in Africa is not a temporary interest, is not a temporary commitment, but it is a maintained uh, a commitment. And also our African um, brothers and sisters are showing that they are interested in uh, further cooperation with Turkey. Now we know uh, one another better and we appreciate one another's uh, sincerity and we recognize the huge potential of cooperation between our um, uh, countries and in the upcoming period we need to make sure that we uh, deepen further deepen our uh, bilateral relations and diversify our relations in many different realms as Turkey within this scope we will continue to uh, focus on our cooperation with regional organizations and our diplomatic missions and um, embassies um, uh, will um, increase in number. We will expedite our efforts to accomplish this. And we are also hoping that uh, more African nations will um, open up um, representations in Turkey. The history, the culture, the literature of Africa, as well as its politics, its economy, will be understood uh, better in Turkey thanks to these initiatives um, and from healthcare to defense from energy to um, technology and agriculture we believe that